Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are there capital gains on selling a house? When you sell a house, you might be subject to capital gains tax. This tax is levied on the profit made from selling an asset. The IRS specifies rules for determining whether you owe capital gains tax. And first, consider the length of time you owned the house. If you owned the property for more than one year, it is considered a long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gains are usually taxed at a lower rate than short-term gains. And, and next, understand the primary residence exclusion. If the house was your primary residence for at least two of the five years before the sale, you might qualify for an exclusion. For single filers, up to $250,000 of the gain can be excluded from your taxable income. For married couples filing jointly, the exclusion can be up to $500,000. Keep in mind that certain conditions must be met to qualify for this exclusion. You must not have claimed the exclusion on another home in the last two years. If the house was not your primary residence, the exclusion does not apply. In this case, the entire gain may be subject to capital gains tax. Additionally, improvements made to the house can increase your cost basis. A higher cost basis reduces the amount of gain when you sell the house. Finally, always consult with a tax professional for personalized advice. Tax laws can be complex and vary based on individual circumstances. NN. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.